Bugs Bunny in King Arthur's Court is really great. This is also known by the title A Connecticut Rabbit in King Arthur's Court, which meant absolutely nothing to me, but it turns out that that's from the Mark Twain story, uh, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. So if you know anything about that, please feel free uh, to share anything about it because apparently it is based on that story. But going into it with no knowledge about a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, I was still able to really thoroughly enjoy this. It is beautifully written. The dialogue is so funny. And it's rare that I find any kind of Warner Brothers Looney Tunes, Merry Melodies cartoon to be almost laugh out loud funny. I say almost because I didn't, but there were times when I was teetering on laughing out loud. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed the, the exchanges we have between Bugs and the other characters. And I won't spoil ultimately what happens in this, but I will tell you some of the characters who are in this. And I did not expect King Arthur to be played by the person he was. And I'll get to that in a moment. This was released originally in 1978. It's directed by Chuck Jones, written by Chuck Jones. And we have Mel Blanc voicing everybody, which is pretty impressive. It's all well and good, Mel Blanc voicing all of the characters in, say, a seven-minute cartoon, but for him to be providing all of the voices in this 25-ish minute film is, is so incredible. It is really impressive. And obviously the voice acting is brilliant and the characters we get are wonderful. The narrative revolves around the fact that Bugs Bunny had taken travel advice from Ray Bradbury and had accidentally ended up back in time in King Arthur's court. And as I said, there will be spoilers for the characters in this and I'll explain that now, but I won't spoil ultimately what happens and I probably won't give any of the, the jokes away either because I, I found it to be very funny and I don't want to spoil anything but King Arthur is actually played by Daffy Duck which I hadn't expected and honestly he fits the role well he looks great the costumes in this are one of the things that I love the characters wear numerous different costumes and they just look so fantastic, so eye-catching and attractive. I don't know if they're all historically accurate, but they look wonderful. In addition to Daffy Duck, we also have uh, Yosemite Sam, who is the Baron of Yosemite. And we have Porky Pig as Sir Loin of Pork, which I adore, and uh, Sir Elmer of Fudd as well. So all of the, the brilliant characters are in there. They all have a, a really great role to play. Other Looney Tunes characters are referenced, but I won't spoil it by giving away how they're referenced. And it's really good fun. It is adorable. The animation is gorgeous. The story is, is really great, really entertaining. The setting is brilliant. And as I said, it is funny. It is very, very funny. It definitely tickled me, but I don't want to give away any of the humour because there's a lot of it, first of all, and also the element of surprise is what makes comedy brilliant a lot of the time, and that certainly was the case with me with this. There were things in this that I hadn't expected, and it's very creative. I haven't got the slightest idea how it compares to Mark Twain's A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. If anybody wants to share any thoughts on that, please feel free to do so. But judging it purely as Bugs Bunny or A Connecticut Rabbit in King Arthur's Court... I, I rather enjoyed it a lot. If you're a fan of Bugs Bunny or any of the other Warner Brothers characters, then this is definitely worth watching. It's not my favourite time period. If I were to list 10 places or 10 time periods I'd want Bugs Bunny to go back to, this would be not even on that list. But nevertheless, I adored it. Brilliantly animated, really fun narrative, great characters, very funny. A Connecticut Rabbit in King Arthur's Court is most certainly worth watching.